Hi, this is Grammy from Grammy and Grandpa Read, and today I have a special book for you called Marky the Magnificent Fairy by Cynthia Kern O'Brien. And I have a, today I'm having a special visit with the first grade Mrs. Davis class at Spring Lake Elementary, and I am so excited to be here with you guys today. So let's get started and find out about Marky, okay? <laughs> Marky the Magnificent Fairy. There once was a woodland fairy named Marky. She was a magnificent little fairy. During the day, Marky liked to play in the woods with her friends. At night, she loved watching the fireflies dance above her head as she fell asleep. I forgot my glasses. <laughs> Marky couldn't fly like the other fairies. Why? One of her wings was very small. That made her different from other fairies in the wood, but Marky loved her small wing. She thought it was beautiful. Marky the Magnificent Little Fairy. Um, this question says, is her hair on fire? Is she blind as a bat? What it, are those spots all over her face? Ha ha ha, her wings so tiny. That's, they're making fun of her, aren't they? Sometimes the other woodland creatures would make fun of her. They would laugh at her small wing or say mean things about the color of her hair. Even some teased her about her freckles they whispered and pointed because she wore glasses. That really hurt Marky's feelings. But Marky was fearless. She marched right up to the woodland creatures and proclaimed, I am not that different from you. Marky might not be able to fly, but she could do lots of other things. She could tap dance. She could draw, she could sing, and she could do almost anything. Marky was a magnificent little fairy. That says hopes and dreams. I'm more like you than you know, Marky exclaimed. And just like you, I have hopes and dreams. Marky was going to be a fashion designer one day. She wanted to make stylish clothes for all her friends. Marky was a magnificent little fairy. There were other fairies and elves who were magnificent just like Marky. They had exceptional qualities, some visible, some invisible, and they had hopes and dreams too. They were all they were all so kind friends. There was Marky's friend Jojo. He was unable to walk, so he sat in a wheelchair and he had an exceptional quality, was visible, but um, was visible, but Jojo loved to read books. He dreamed, uh, his dream was to be a doctor when he grew up. Oh, we need doctors, huh? Nixie was also magnificent. Her exceptional quality was invisible. She was deaf. That means she couldn't hear. Nixie loved to play games. Her dream was to be a dog trainer. Then there was Fancy. She was magnificent too. Her exceptional quality was loud. Sometimes she stuttered or couldn't control her movements. Fancy's dream was to be a famous singer when she grew up. Marky wanted everyone to understand that all creatures are magnificent. They have hopes and dreams. They are perfect just the way they are. Being kind was what mattered most. Marky wasn't that different from, from them all. We're sorry, Marky, said the woodland creatures in unison. We shouldn't have teased you. We are just like you. We have hopes and dreams. We want to be your friend. Marky, being a magnificent little 
uh, fairy was thrilled by their kindness and she was very happy to make new friends who understand that everyone deserves to feel accepted and loved. The end. Oh, I like that book. Um, this book talks about, I love to have read stories that tell us a, uh, they have a moral or that it gives us like something that we should work towards, okay? So Marky was a good example of being friends. She was also a good example of accepting people for who they are. So sometimes we, ha we look different or we maybe we sound different or we like different things, but that doesn't mean that we should make fun of each other, right? We should all be kind to everyone. I like that story. I hope you guys liked it too. Subscribe to our channel and like this video.